Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome to Restaurant Tycoon. It's been so long since we played this game. Today, I'm going to set myself a challenge. I want to build the biggest, the best, the most expensive restaurant in the whole entire world. I have got literally 999999 cash. One dollar short of one million dollars. And we're going to use all that money to build the best restaurant you have ever seen in your whole entire life. Now, guys, if you enjoy this, maybe you want to see more of Restaurants Haikun in the future, then make sure you smash that like button down below and leave a comment saying, thank you for play some more. And that is the only way, guys, I know you want to see more of Restaurant Tycoon. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Now, guys, we are here in the beautiful world. There is uh, Ikea. Uh, the generic furniture store. Uh, this is our little restaurant too. We're gonna go big, we're gonna go bald, we're gonna go fresh. That's like a nice little uh, lumber tycoon to their little reference. Uh, right, so there's lots of things that we kind of need to do them. So I think first things first then, before we get started, before we set ourselves out, we need to fully expand the land. Build the biggest kind of structure so I know how much room I've got before I start placing every single expensive item that I have to hand. So we need to expand this then. And I, all the, I haven't played this in a while, so all these buttons are kind of changed. Right, it's not this. It's not that. No, we'll get rid of the menu. Haven't unlocked that feature yet. I forgot where it is we go to expand the store. Menu, no, restaurant. There we go, upgrade tycoon. Right, there we go. So we're going to expand the plot. We're going to get, well, a mega plot. We're going to have an outdoor area expand the outdoor area and of course as always have a drive through now what style do we go let's go for that style there. that's quite a nice style so there we go there are all the upgrades that we've got right now for our little restaurant it's huge and it's about to get a whole lot bigger guys trust me trust me so we're gonna also then this is all the space that we get to work with now do we change the style of the building uh, all this stuff happens over here doesn't it Oh, wrong way. Let's scoot along. Ho ho ho! Well, let's find out then. So let's see. So do we go for a different style? We go for that big glass one. Let me change it to that. What's it look like there? It does look kind of cool, but it's too glassy. We need something. You know what? I kind of do like the original one that we had. So we're going to go for that. We're going to change the flooring color too. So we're going marble. Now, do I go like, uh, nah, it's a bit too much. I want, it to look, I want it to look posh. I want it to look fancy. I want it to look like the finest of all diners come here. We do like a red marble floor or a yellow. Does that, would that make it look like gold? Uh, it looks kind of tacky though, doesn't it? It does look kind of tacky. What would look really good? Let's go back to the marble. That dark red, no, this red. Oh, that looks fancy. It looks elegant, guys. It means all the finest high ballers and high diners come to your boy's restaurant and uh, eat the delicious food. So let's get into Ikea then, the wonderful everyday. And uh, let's see what we can buy. So it's loading the furniture in here. It hasn't even loaded the furniture. Come on, game. Load the goddamn furniture. So we want to get the most expensive um, kind of, what do you call them, counters right now. No, kitchens. Is it this one? The luxurious kitchen, uh, quality counter. So this is the most expensive one. 200. It's got gold plating. It looks so good. Right. Let's buy. I'm going to buy quite a few of them. I'm going to buy eight of them. I'm not sure why. Just in case we need them. Uh, and we're going to buy some tables as well. Now, which is looking like fancy tables? We could go for um, this table. The oriental table. Because it looks quite fancy. Uh, the neon table looks good. These are pretty big, but they're also pretty basic. What about these? Sci-fi table. So what's the most expensive one? That's 45. That's 40. How much is this? 25. Remember, guys, I'm trying to build the most expensive, the most beautiful, the biggest. Right, it looks like we're going for the little sci-fi table right now. And what color scheme are we going for? So we've got that red. It changes the neon color. So what if we go for yellow? Would that work or if I stick to the red? Let's stick to the red. 
And we're going to buy a ton of these right now because they are the most expensive. So we're going to create some big boy tables right now. Right, let's get let's get 20 of those. And do I go for these like big square ones? Ha! I think not. Right, we need chairs. We need lots of chairs for this. So what would be the best kind of chair for it? It is it is a single table. It looks quite high. We need something that, that kind of goes with it. So these are the perfect ones, aren't they? Just darken them down a little bit. Now, we need four per table, meaning we need to buy lots of these. Lots and lots and lots of these. I'm not sure how many. It's, it's pretty much... What, how many did I buy? 16? Or 20? I don't know. It's whatever in the number of... Whatever tables I bought, I need to buy four times the amount of chairs. I'll buy 40 for now. Leave it like that. And um, let's buy some dividers too. Oh no, these are these the fancy tables? Don't tell me. I can't even select them. No, they're the Chinese cloth ones. They're not the fancy ones. They're not the most expensive. So we're still okay there. Right, this then. Let's go for that, that beautiful dark. We should go for a little bit darker or a little bit lighter or white. Because these, these are going to be the dividers. No, we're going to go for the red dividers. Right, we'll buy a bunch of these. Uh, lots of these as well. These can be dividers for like the kitchen, the dining area and whatnot. So buy a bunch of those. I want some... Let's go for some corner ones. Buy a load of those as well. You just never know when you're going to need them. We'll buy some of these ones. And then we'll go place these down and we'll come back to the store and see what else we can get. I did these little four-way ones as well. Because again, you just never know if you're going to need them. Right, there we go. Right, we'll keep it like that then. Let's get to your boy's restaurant. Okay, teleport to Tycoon. There we go. So let's get in there. Let's build. Let's start placing furniture. So these are the kitchens. And I think we should have... Now, how do I want to do this? Do I have the kitchens at the front of the restaurant? Or do I have them at the back? Do I create like a nice open plan where it looks all free flowing and stuff like that? So many decisions. So many decisions I've got right now. Uh, I think we'll place them at the back and all the drink stuff we can place towards the front. So let's do one there, one there. I'm not sure how many I need in total. One there, one there, one there, one there. So I've got two more remaining. And I don't know how what the spacing gap is needed for these. But we'll keep it like that. Where, where is it? Okay, there's like a free spacing gap in between. Right, nice. Okay, okay, okay. Then we'll get these little dividers out. So drop the dividers down. To like kind of separate the whole kitchen. Oh, this looks so good already. Ooh, baby! We should have placed down the little corner piece there, shouldn't we? Yeah, I think that is what we need to do. Let's finish that up. Let's delete furniture. Let's store these pieces. Done, boy! And then get the... Where is it? That's a straight one. Nice corner one. There we go. And that is the entrance into the kitchen where we're going to cook up the delicious goodness. I'm not sure how many, again, uh, kind of count or, um, kitchens I need. So we'll come back to that in just a, a little bit later. So we'll head back to the store now. Now we've got those in because I also need to uh, get the drink stuff. Where we can serve customers the delicious drinks. And we've got to go to the second floor for that. So I want to get all the basic, all the functional stuff in first before we go crazy with decorations. So what we got over here then? Where are they? They're over in the distance, aren't they? We can get like a map. Oh, I forgot about all this good stuff. Oh, man. Right, let's buy this, the barbecue. Let's buy the teriyaki table. The teriyaki stove. The teriyaki grill. We need all that stuff. Um... Right, what computer do I get? Manager desk. It's dark. Oh, dark red. Yes, boy. Right, buy milkshake. Buy tiki bar. Buy hot drinks. Buy drinks. Thingy, majig. Right, there we go. We got it all. Guys, we've got it all. That's all I need. And that's all like function, like functionality stuff that we've got down. So now we can really build a beautiful, a beautiful restaurant with all of this. Okay, we're back. So, I haven't unlocked the feature for workers yet. Is Really? Are you for real? How do I unlock that feature? I have no idea. Maybe I've got to place in some tables and chairs and stuff. That could be what it is. Right, back into build then. Place features. So, we need the drink stuff down right now. So, I could drop the drink stuff in here. 
as like another way to kind of hide the kitchen. Right, where are we at? Where are we at, boy? I want the drink stuff. That's the manager desk. Right, milkshake thing. The other drink thing. And then the hot drinks there. Nice. So that separates the kitchen and all that. So where can I now get the barbecue? There we go. Squeeze the barbecue in just there. It fits perfect. Now we've got all the teriyaki stuff. So let's see. Teriyaki. Should we place the te one teriyaki thing? No, wait. How does this work again? Have I got it the right way around? How does this go down? There we go. The teriyaki grill. And then we can serve people on the teriyaki table. That's how it works, isn't it? Yeah. We also need to get the manager desk in. We'll squeeze the manager desk just there. So now then, let's start placing down all these beautiful tables and chairs. So if we have one there, one there, one there, and one there, I just want to see now if we place down the chairs, creating this beautiful, guys, little section. Table for fours created. Damn, we're on fire. Okay, right. Table for fours created. We'll do the same on this side. Right, how did I do it again? There's like a one gap spacing. Are they in the right order? No. no! How did I mess that? Wait, it is? It isn't? No, they, they go on this side. Oh, we had a little, there's another gap in between. You damn fool, Sediac, you damn fool. Right, store these tables. Place these down. Right, there we go. Little chairs. I'm, I'm starting to kind of question my teriyaki skills that I've kind of created with this table. I'm questioning them. I could place it like it right here. And then we'll see how that goes. We could we need some little like something for it. So these tables here then, if I placed one there and then squeeze in some tables and chairs there, that works there. Do the same here. Right, there we go. We've got the space in the walking little section there for people to get to and from. So now then, where is the normal straight walls? There we go. So I need to buy some more of these because I'm kind of, I've just completely ran out right now to create these little dividers. It's actually coming together, guys. It's actually coming together. We, we're buying the most expensive stuff, building the best restaurant right now. It's looking good. Right. Have I still got to unlock this feature? How do I unlock the ability to get workers? Or, or is that the manager section? I don't know. Oh, have I got to open the restaurant? Hold on. Hold on. Right. Open up. Right, there we go. Have I got access to that? Not yet. Have I got a f I feel like I need to play semi like semi play the tutorial. Right. Can you go sit down, please? Appreciate y'all. I'm gonna have to go cook up some goodness for them now. And then I can hire workers and stuff like that. That's that's exactly what I need to do, isn't it? Right. We'll play along. We'll play game with these guys. Let's take their orders. Right, I know to take orders, goddammit. I've got to do it one by one. I feel like I've got to do it one by one, haven't I? Right, I've got to do this goddamn tutorial. Right, let's get over here. Right, right arrow. Space bar, left arrow, right arrow. Right, that is done. Get it to the customer. I've got to run all the way over here. Who wants this soup? Right. Oh, i got to click on... I, I keep forgetting you. I'm trying to click on the speech bubbles. I forgot i got to click on them. God damn it, Sadie Accu for all. Right, left, right, up, up. Space bar, up, down, up. Good stuff. We've got it all. So, who wants the soap? Soap incoming. Hopefully they don't want dessert. Because I've got to cook up some desserts. Oh, there we go. We've got it. Okay, sweet, mate. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So, world star chef. Let's get one from Europe. Begin the journey. We're going to select... We don't have any coins. But, okay, right. How do we get out of this? Finish. I don't have coins to select stuff. Any British dishes in here? 
None that I can see. Fine, we're going to select some tapas, some brat for us, and some kebabs. Finish. Wait, did I not select it? There we go. Have I got it? Right, start working. We're going to throw this dude over here. There we go. Right, get out of my face! I know they're world star chefs, but I just need you to get out of here. Right, chef. We'll go for a British chef over here. We'll level up as well. Oh, don't unlock dishes. No, 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 no. Um, another, no, another world star chef, Sediac. What are you doing, boy? Right, looks like we're going to get a world star chef. There we go. Finish that up. Right. Cancel. Right, chef. We'll get a Chinese chef. We'll try and get one of each kind of um, nationality. An Australian chef. I just realized that they're all um, male right now. Let's hire some some females. Japanese chef. Cook up some good, good sushi. Let's go Indian chef as well. Get our delicious curries on the go. Some Italian food. Mexican. Greca. There we got everything. And then South American. Then I should have every single type of chef. All right, let's place it down now on each working station. Right, I'm not sure where they're going or where they're choosing, well, where I've placed them to work. And do you know what, guys? I have the perfect amount, right, of um, kitchen stuff. All right, we're going to go crazy now by upgrading these guys. Oh, so they can um, cook everything on the menu. Right, there we go. So we've got all them, every chef now trained, right? Waitresses, we're going to hire. Right, two male, two female. Is that as many as we can do? I'm not sure. I'll try and get some more. How many of these can I hire? Okay, the maximum is six. Right, those start working. Right, we've got those workers now down. We now need uh, baristas. Right, we get two male, two female, because we've got we got like four drink sections. Okay, so start working. Right, you there, you there. There we go, and you over there. Right, level these guys up. Then all that's left, guys, is drive-through workers. So drive-through worker, hire drive-through worker. Higher. I'm not sure how many of these I can... Okay, two is the maximum. Right, there are good. So we've got everybody now working in the restaurant. Everybody's going to be now ticking along. We need to get some other stuff. We need to buy some other stuff uh, and get it all up and running. Right, back to Ikea. We need to get the outdoor section stuff set up as well. Right, so we're going to buy some more walls. That's a given. Uh, so let's buy a ton of these now. I'm going to buy some more chairs as well. Oh, the teriyaki chairs. That's kind of what I need. So we'll go for like this here. Can I go in that? Yes, boy. So we just need four of those. That's kind of all we need with that. We need some outdoorsy stuff. So I might keep to the same table and chairs that we've got. How many of these have I got if I buy? Okay, I'll go plenty of those. Plenty. And how many of these chairs we got? Oh, we kind of read out. So, it's good that we get some more. It's good that we get some more. Right, now then, we got to think about decorations. So, I want the most expensive stuff that we've got. Or we can literally buy. So, get up here then. We're going to buy. Is this the most expensive archway? 40. How much are these? These are all 40 as well. Yeah, but because this one looks like the biggest. No, we'll go for this one because it's red. Nice. Um, okay, right, what's next then? This stuff looks expensive. Right, buy you. What's the most expensive here? Now that one you gotta buy with gems. So I'm buying that. I'm gonna buy some sushi, just because. Uh, fireplace, or the outdoor one. Let's get two of those for the outdoor. Fireplace there. Tandoor, don't know what that is. But your boy's buying it. Gonna get some expensive plants. There we go. Buy two of each. Nice. Uh, we do have some sofas. 
How much are these? 30, 30. Mm, I don't feel like we want sofas though. TVs though. We'll take TVs. All this is expensive. Made that surfboard red. Damn. Bye. Curve TVs. All over it, mate. Should we get a statue as well? Should we just pick one at random? There's Ultra. All right, let's get him. We got him, boy. All right, jump down. So anything over here that I want to buy? We'll grab some staff worker outfits. We've got the furniture pack over here. Custom statue of your boy. We'll grab that. Uh, but I don't really want that. I like these ones, these outfits. Oh, this seems like effort to go through all that. Right, forget that. We're getting out of here. We're now going to do the rest of the restaurant. Because, again, it is the world's most expensive, world's greatest, world's best, world's biggest restaurant in the whole entire world. Are we sold out? Where are we at? Right, have I got... Yeah, I, I forget i got to collect all, all the little tips and stuff. There we go. Oh, good then. So, now then, let's build some more stuff in. So, place... We'll finish off with where we like, we've, you know, we've what we've got left to get in. So chairs, we'll get these in. Nice little archway into the kitchen. Nice. Uh, where do we place this? In should we have a little fish tank, like just behind these guys. Okay, that's, that's kind of placed itself very awkwardly. We have a scary lion thing just chilling there as they walk in. Uh, fireplace. We'll put the fireplace behind these guys and hopefully that they, they don't get burnt. There we go. Hopefully they don't get burnt. Uh, not sure what this tandoor stuff is. Uh, we'll get some plants just here. There we go. Nice, mate. Throw one in the corner. Throw one in this corner. Throw one there. What's this better? Oh, it's the TV stuff we get to throw on the wall. Right, let's just dot the TVs around. One there. One there. One up there. Nice little paintings. These weird things. Some surfboards because, you know, why not? Big curved TVs all over the place right now. This is an expensive restaurant. Statue of Ultra. Two of them, in fact. This is meant to be a statue of your boy. Kind of is, kind of is. Um, right, what else we got then? Corner pieces. Oh, yes, because we were placing down that. No, 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 no. Let me uh, delete furniture. Let me store that one. Just so people can walk through. Collect the checks. And we got some tips too. Tips for having the world's greatest restaurant. That's what them tips are for, guys. Right, oh, okay. We're back outside then. How, how's it going over here? Have we got to collect stuff? I always forget we may, we have... No, do we have nothing to collect? We all Gucci? We all Gucci, mate? You're going to serve these people? You want steaks? What's going on then? Service speed is a little bit slow. Damn it! Right. Build then. Place furniture. We need the corner pieces. So one there. We throw one in over here. And we've got 18 of these to throw down. As we now have outside seating area. And we've kind of run out. <laughs> right, we'll place down the, uh, where's the, the tables? Sci-fi table. Right, we'll do one there, one there, one there, one there. Just like that. We need the chairs. Twelve chairs remaining. We might have to buy some more. Yeah, I can only make one more table. So we need one more chair. I'm not sure what this pot is, but I'm going to drop it down anyway. We'll put this lamp inside. So I squeeze it just there. I right, got the tables there, corner pieces, freeway. Okay, right, we're pretty much out. So we need more little walls there. Uh, four more chairs. And we're creating a really good one. 
All right, let's finish it up then. So what's going on with, with this? Why, why is this dude here stuck in the drive-thru? Have I got to sort him out? I don't know. Oh, no, he's moved. He's moved. I think he arrived before I put them workers down. That's, that's what it could be. I don't know. I don't know. Right. So let's get back in. Need to buy four of these. Nice. And I'm forever buying these walls. They are heavily needed. Can I get these small pieces as well? I'm not sure if you can do anything with these. Right, there we go. Alright, so build a place furniture. Alright, comfy chairs in first. Nice. Finish up these walls. Nice. These little small ones, can they be thrown in here? In the corner? No. It's kind of annoying, isn't it? Alright, but I think that is it. Let's finish that up. Do we have any bills to collect in here? Of course we do, guys. Of course we have all the bills to collect right now. Let's get in. Collecting four days, we are making all the cash money moolahs. This is the most expensive, the most fanciest restaurant in the whole entire world, guys. You know why? We got that luxury carpet. We got them premium decorations. That premium food that you find on the menus right now. Look at it all. British, we got it. Drinks, we got it. Uh, Australian food, we got it. We got all the food. So don't even care, man. Don't even care. It is, we're getting big bills, big checks, big bucks, big monies coming in. It is so damn dope. Uh, the name still says coming soon. So let's change that to Fool's Diner. If you it, if it accept it. Oh, it, it did accept it. It did. Falls Dider. It looks luxurious. Guys, hope you did enjoy this fun little episode of Restaurant Tycoon. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye. Listen.